What's up, mountain bikers? I recently acquired a manual machine. I'm really excited about this. No, I did not build it. As most of you know, I'm a high school teacher, and one of my students needed an idea for a project in a construction class. I said, hey, why don't you build me a manual machine? And she did. So, shout out to Sherilyn, thank you for that. So this is just the design that she pulled off the internet. She said it was pretty easy to build. It sounds like if you have the right tools, you could probably build it. I can't manual at all, like not even close. I can kind of wheelie. And I'm gonna practice on this thing for like 30 minutes a day maybe for a week and just see, see what happens really. So let's start 30 minutes a day for about a week and see what happens. Here we go. All right, let's get baseline. Uh, I have my bike in here. I have it rigged up with some paracord. Just basic paracord. I think I got it to a good length so that I won't go off the back and hurt myself. I should probably go my helmet just in case. Because crazy things have happened. All right, let's start with the baseline. So I'm not going to keep that camera on the whole time. I'm just going to try a couple. We'll see where I'm at. And then I'm going to practice for a while. I'll turn the camera on at the end so you can see any progress that I made. Man, I don't even know how to get on this thing. <laughs> okay. This feels weird. Wow, I'm scared to right here. Okay, so obviously I'm not very good at this. You can see where I'm at, I don't wheel off two inches. I'm going to practice for a little bit, we'll see what happens. Today is day two of manual practice. I've been at it for about 20-25 minutes and I definitely feel an improvement. The one thing that I do need to do, which I talked briefly on yesterday, was shorten my rope, or uh, lengthen my rope. It's a little too short. So I'm gonna do that before I practice tomorrow. Um, the other thing that I'm finding is like, now that I've kind of figured the machine out, I'm not afraid to throw all my weight back and let the, the rope catch me. So what I'm really working on is trying to, to get my weight to the right place without using the rope, if that makes sense. So here's where I'm at today. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm not afraid to let the rope catch me. So I want to get to, to that high point without just throwing all my way back. I think I also need to lengthen the rope to make my high point higher. Because right now it doesn't feel scary going that high. Or it feels a little scary. I want to go past my balance point. If I do let the rope catch me. That's about as good as it's getting right now. And I'll tell you, that's way more than I could do before. The question is, can I do it while rolling? Find out later this week. Progress is being made. I'll bring you back tomorrow. Day three, definitely making progress. I made my rope a little bit longer today. I'm finding the balance point a little bit easier. Still definitely not even close to 100%, but progress, here we go.
too much. And that right there is the benefit of extending the rope. So when I go too far back, I know I'm too far back. I'm not going to get in the habit of letting the rope catch me. So I'm holding it longer to find the balance port. Point, not port. That's after three days. See you happens tomorrow. rotation and not quite yeah like that just that did that's the only thing I noticed so you feel like this is a good tool for someone who wants to learn how to manual oh yeah okay yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very good at manually but <laughs> sit there ready yeah Bend your knees a little bit. There you go. You gotta work your knees. See? Oh, there you go. Right there. A little too far back. There you go. Too low. Right in there. So that's like the money spot right there. Okay, right now I'm gonna let go. Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, I don't <laughs> <laughs> But you know, you, yeah. you feel that like. <laughs> He's got longer and longer. There you go. Nice. The back brake's definitely a cheater. Yeah. It helps you like kind of sit there and then you let go of it and then woo.
After eight days of practice, I feel like I can answer the question that the manual machine definitely has improved my skills. But, do I know how to manual now? I don't know yet. I'm going to have to wait and see. I need to take it to the street, which I'm going to save for another video. If you're thinking of making a manual machine, I can say that it has definitely improved my skills. I have a lot of fun with it, and uh, I plan to still use it on a regular basis. So. Go ahead and build it if it's something you're thinking of. At the very least, you're going to have fun. Pretty soon, I'm going to take this to the street, and we'll see if I actually know how to manual now. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks for riding with me today.